Pressure cooking. Pressure cooking. Oh, do anything. Okay. Good afternoon, Mr. Rishi. Today, we are going to present uh, you the topic of breaking into the global toy industry. Beforehand, I would like to introduce my associate member, Ms. Eleanor Oh, and my name is Bong Jun Kang. Before we start the presentation, I will allow Mr. Uh, Ms. Eleanor to start the presentation for us. Alright, um, good afternoon Mr. Rishi and everyone present today. Let's start with the basic, which is the micro and macro environment analysis, also known as the SWOT analysis. We will be talking about the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of the company. Let's start with strengths. This company, One Up Toys, they were very clever when it comes to responding to the demands of the, and needs of their consumer market. They figured that the consumer market nowadays, they need something refreshing, they need something innovative. They wanted to shine themselves and put them in an outstanding position. Therefore, they created innovative products like the Air Drums and the Wii and this is what makes them attractive to the customers. Second would be the developing team consisted of a variety of different talents and skills. If you can refer to the case notes, we could see that there were marketers, there were design engineers, there were also microelectronics engineer, all of which would, be, would, would consist of a great team when it comes to a startup company because the more variety of skills present, the better the products that will be produced. Third would be they had the proper expertise and technology to develop unique products. Because um, the main founder, Ronald Mana, he was from uh, Delft University and, uh, sorry, sorry, um, Delft University of Technology, also known as Delft UT, they had the proper equipment to develop a more advanced toy that was, present, that was present in the market at the time, which was 2006. Right, let's uh, move on to weakness. Main founder lacked the persuading skills. As you could see, the, as it was mentioned in the case note, Ronald Mana actually lacked the negotiating skills when it comes to finding investors, when it comes to finding a partner to partner with, and when it comes to building the team, which is a very which puts him in a very disadvantaged position because without that very important skill, it will, it will be very hard to network to other people, which is also a grave mistake when it comes to starting a company. Second would be lack of flexibility in terms of supply. As you know, they actually had uh, their products manufactured in China because of the very low cost. And, but even though there is a low cost, however, they didn't have any flexibility in terms of shipment of products or even when they want the products to be arrived and to be made. This made the customers very impatient and they didn't really want to wait for the new products and this new company to actually satisfy their needs. Third would be nobody in the team had experience in the toy industry, which was a very big risk for them because first, they are starting up a very new company and second of all, a toy company wasn't very famous back then. People didn't really want to spend money on toys. They would rather spend money on things that are more practical to them, which are like cars, properties, bags, and so on. Next, we will go on to opportunities. Right, um, as you know, um, the founders were all from Netherlands and they were focused more on the European market, which is England and all, those, uh, all the countries in Europe. However, they did not think of actually expanding to the ASEAN market because Asian market is actually a very, very huge market. Let's take China for instance. China has more than a few billion of population which they could expand their market in because people there are also interested in the toy industry. Second would be to recruit fresh graduates for their fresh ideas and insight into the younger market. They would understand this because few of the people in the team, they were actually fresh grads from university. And if in the future, when their company is already expanded, they recruit young fresh grads, they could actually understand what the young market think because the whole consumer market right now is actually mostly consisted uh, of young people as we call the millennials, they actually make up the young, they actually have the uh, purchase power and therefore it is wise for them to actually look into their minds and look into their, what they want and what, what they want and what they need. Thirdly, would be European partners fail to fund enough cash flow for R&D, they should look into other countries. 
since there are a lot of troubles looking for countries in the in the Europe market to fund their research and development and to fund their company in general, they should start looking in Asian markets like Thailand or the Philippines or even Malaysia to actually help them expand, not only to expand their products and create awareness of their company, but also to give them enough cash flow for the operations of their company. Next would be threats. Right. As we all know, the global toy industry has a very, very short product life cycle. Once you actually create a toy that is hot and that is famous and popular, they actually don't last forever. The popularity don't last forever. It could last maybe a year or two years. Let's take um, Angry Birds for an example. Angry Birds only had, their, the trend of Angry Birds only lasted maybe two years. And after that, nobody actually remembered it. So it is actually, actually very tough for them because they have to keep on innovating. They have to continue inno to innovate, continue to create new products for the consumer market. Second would be unpredictable amount of demand for toy products. Your products could be hot and the best selling at the time. However, when, as, the, as months passes by, demand for the products will actually lower and they will actually deteriorate. Then after that, maybe when the trend comes back again, then the demand for the product would be, would be saturated. So let's take Pokemon Go for an example. Pokemon used to be a very, very famous product. However, as the trend and as people demand less of the product, production was less. Then recently, when the new Pokemon Go game came out, more and more production of it escalated. Competi like I said before this, competition is high. As more inventors, co inventors come up with better ideas, more efforts must be given by the company to prove themselves more inventive. Next, we would look at the external factors, which is the past analysis. First of all, we will talk about the political factor. 19 regions in China increased their minimum wage by 14%. As I have said before this, they actually manufacture their products in China. So if they actually increase their minimum wage by 14%, that would increase the cost of their product, and which is not a very welcome factor by the consumer market. Second, the EU-China 2020 strategic agenda for cooperation promises to convey transparency and legal certainty. Which is a very which makes them in a very more, in a more advantageous position because we have actually heard of news about how China threatened their their workers and actually made them have suicidal thoughts or they they actually committed suicide. With more transparency and legal certainty, it makes them safer in terms of the legal aspect of the uh, EU and China exchange. We will talk about the economic next, as we know. The economic situation of the euro area is at a steady growth at a currency, currency block growth of 0.3% in the qu third quarter of 2016, which means their currency is stronger against other countries, and which means when they export their products to other countries in Europe, they are, they are actually making a more steady um, profit in their company. Mm -hmm. Second would be immediate aftermath of Brexit is that equity prices have declined worldwide. That makes it even harder to find investors. As we all know, the Brexit has happened earlier uh, in the middle of the year. And when equity prices of companies, they decline, most of them actually do not want to invest on any other companies anymore because they don't want to take more risk. They want to protect their own uh, personal, pro uh, personal benefits or even their company's benefit. And they don't want to actually split their attention anymore. Next, let's talk about the social. Consumer buying patterns in China market improves as spending power increases. We must look at different countries when it comes to starting up a company because different countries obviously they have different so, uh, society expectations, they have different culture, they have different spending powers. Let's see in that in China, expected growth of 7.5% of their purchasing power would inc increase annually until 2016, which is a good thing. The, this big market, since their purchasing power has increased, you could actually increase more product uh, manufactured there and sell it to that market and in, uh, invest in that market itself. You could see here different demands of different types of toys in different countries. In this chart, you could see that in US and in China, they have very different uh, types of toys that the that consumer want. And 
one up toys that could actually focus more on the others because it takes up 46%, almost half of the consumer that are interested in other games other than dolls or accessories or soft toys. Next would be technology. Technology provides wider view on social media and it educates people on how the European market works and spread awareness of the company. While it's no stranger to everyone that social media actually can provide a very, very wide platform to reach to not only to one market but to a market globally. This would be Twitter, to be Instagram or even Facebook when you post one product and if, if it gets enough attention, everybody around the world will want your product. Next would be SEO enhancement to position the company at a more favorable position. SEO stands for search engine optimization. That means whenever you go on Google and you search for, let's say a keyword, um, toys, your company will come in first on the website, at first on the page, and people would frequently visit your website. That is actually very beneficial for the company because whenever people want to uh, know your products even more, they have the easiest access of all times. Right, uh, I will now pass on to my groupmate, David Fong. Thank you, Arno. So before we get to know that what's the decision-making options that we need to identify that uh, what kind of strategy we are going to use uh, in order to uh, tackle to the market, First, we're going to use the essence of a strategic marketing, uh, which is segmentation, targeting, and positioning. Segmentation is targeted to divide uh, the homogeneous market or heterogeneous in order to divide the smaller market with the, based on the identical needs and the perception and the buying behavior. And the targeting, we are like to evaluate the size of the market and determine the market marketing mix and the integrated marketing communication in order to reach the targeted audiences. Focus on the, uh, sorry, um, because we found another thing is what would possibly able to attract the segment uh, in, in terms of a marketing mix and IMC and how we are able to better deliver all of this to the targeted audience. The different positioning is to occupy a consumer's mind to perceive product and brand positively because of the CBBE model of color that defines that the positive response towards product performance and the brand imaginary is able to shape a favorable response to the consumer mind. And the thing is, positioning based on the product performance and brand imaginary is able to create a, a, the ADA model of attention, uh, interest and desire and action in order to attract to the targeted audience. Next. First of all, in the, in the segmentation, we divided the market into a consumer market and the millennials. First of all, the children market, because the, the children have a direct influence because the children center, we, we are focusing on the children center buying decision, which is the children itself they can see a brand or the product is able to attract them, they will make the decision and ask it, the indirect influence of parents to buy for them. So in here, we are able to see that the indirect influence of the parents on center buying decision able to make a purchase decision for their children. And we can see that our study is because the parent and the grandparent are building a very strong purchase power and at the same time, children itself and the parents, parent, uh, parent, uh, the, the parents and the grandparents are able to recognize and perceive and dis distinguish the brand and product. Next, the millennials. Well, we call them a wired generation and a formal group. Because from here, we are able to identify uh, most of the generation of millennials, they are PC connector, video games, or web, download music, and digital social life. They are interconnected using the social, uh, using internet. And uh, the other thing, the, the other features of the millennial is a high social environment conscious and selective and confidence. And therefore they will come up with a self perceived immune from a marketing. This is how we, because from the perception that you move from a marketing, we have to give them uh, something that we are able to engage with them, but not from the advertising, but not from the product itself. But we would like to uh, encourage the experiential marketing in order to get them engaged with the product uh, unconsciously. Third thing, because they have a strong wave of powerful spending here. Okay, and the business market, we did simply of China, we define that they are our business partners or the, and the business customer because they have a concrete manufacturing background which is able to manufacture 
the product for um, one up toys and at the same time they have a wide market coverage which is 50% of the income is based from America and another 50% is from Europe and Asia furthermore this company is an innovation oriented uh, company which we are able to sell the technology to this company in order to produce uh, the more uh, advanced product Second, the potential buyers and investors, we, know, uh, we define Spectron as potential buyer and investor because they have wide distribution channels. They're able to uh, provide a physical and online stores to display our project, to market our, pro uh, our product to, the, to, to worldwide. And the thing is, they have an extensive after sales service because um, they have the customer service able to provide a repair department to help to assist the customer to repair all the uh, damaged toys. These are able to perceive positively to a customer because in, in the customer minds because this is a, a product attributes they added into the product itself. And they have a strong PR approach because the um, Spectron they actually have a, a, a very close connection with the media. If we are able to sell the product to Spectron, they were able to advertise our product or even the, through the partnership or the joint venture itself, we are able to see that so, uh, the, 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 the press agency functions are able to play in the media, especially to the uh, press and, uh, uh, and the journal. Third, our, third, our business market is for the educators and the music industry. For those are professional who is dealing with music editing and DJ mixing, sound engineering, studio recording, is able to use the product, our product and the technology to help them in develop their uh, the career. Targeting. Basically, we are targeting to use different strategy, strategy which will come up with the, well, the markets and based on the product, pricing strategy and distribution. Because we can see the children, they only want the toys and we can provide the price strategy, we can provide a good value strategy. We fund everything, everything into a, a, a whole package to sell it to the world. Because we, we have three types of products that are able to make the toys uh, more prominently in the market. So the children are able to use all the, to uh, the toys under our product and at the same time we the product volume pricing and different distribution channel we are able to work with the retailers and toy specialists to market our product for the millennial they are more on the video games and uh, we would like to see that how we are able to use a high value strategy of market skimming pricing to penetrate into the millennials market because uh, millennials all we know that the uh, video game nowadays they actually uh, all the consumer they like to share the experience through online and this is how they are able to use these video games to create a content to share on internet in order to, to share the experience or help us to promote the product therefore the in distribution we're going to use an intensive and exclusive distribution which is intensive we're going to sell it to our distributors or we're going to have an exclusive distribution channel like we're going to sell it ourselves but the professional the product category will be professional equipment which we're going to sell at the premium value strategy because all the, the technology we're going to apply into that product is actually for professional use that's why we need to come up with a premium value strategy and this is we're going to use exclusive distribution to sell this product to the uh, specific business market and here we can see that the position and how we are able to use uh, the IMC integrated marketing communication in order to get the, to create awareness among the, uh, the, the target audience. And first of all, we can see here advertising, sales promotion, events, and experience online, social, peer publicity. Everything is covered in order to create the awareness. We have to make sure all the message of the product and the brand itself have to communicate effectively and consistently to our audience. And so that's why we can develop. We can see that. Some of the print and broadcast ad can be, uh, can, can be identical in the consumer group. However, in the profession, in the business market, we can see we're going to use industrial mark magazine or third-party website or specialty store to help us to promote this product to the business market. From the sales promotion itself, retailer discount and the store exhibition and an early bird promotion product funding, that kind of the sales promotion is able to be applied in consumer market. However, to the business market, we are trying to see that how we are able to create awareness through the trade fair as well as the personal selling. 
for the event experience, as what we can, as what we mentioned before, we would like to engage with the targeted audience with the experience. So that is why probably we can able to do something like a theme park demo, a toy expo, and a musical show. How we are able to provide a sponsorship to create an event that get our targeted audience to engage with our brand and the product. However, for the business market, upon the launching of the new product, we would like to send them an invitation to join us. Let them have a better knowledge and a better, a, a more information about what our product is all about, how we are able to help them in the business, as well as the sponsor at the music festivals, and of course, trial play. Trial play, if we're going to use trial play to uh, demonstrate, to, uh, to let our uh, business, uh, business customer to experience the usage of the product itself. For online and social, educated website, social network for the children, millennials, as we mentioned, because they are internet so it's a social internet connector so forum and the community blogger blogger the social network is able to create news able to uh, provide information upon the searching of the product and for the uh, professional market we could going to do the same thing however here we have an automated email which is they are, if they are interested to our product or our technology they can uh, subscribe to our newsletter to get themselves an update on our new, newest uh, release of the product and technology. Finally, the PR and the publicity, this is to create a positive image to the targeted audience, especially like we are going to use our product to sponsor the music competition or the carnival to do the charity in order to create awareness among the children and the parents and grandparents. For the millennial, we are doing the same thing. However, for the uh, business market, Product launch event is the first thing that we need to uh, put into our product to expose our product to the wider market. And second thing is we can uh, organize a seminar to explain how the product is able to help them, what kind of product features or attributes able to make that make their uh, the outcome of the world is more productive. And that's the last thing, the sponsorship. That's all for our presentation. Mr. Richie, do you have anything to ask us? Uh, no, I think uh, you have actually mentioned all the things in detail. So, uh, I just would like to ask if you, just now, Irano was saying about something about uh, customers' perception towards toys. Mm -hmm. So, how do you actually get the perception to be positive towards uh, toys? This one we could talk of, we could actually use uh, what we do best marketing. In terms of marketing, like uh, David has said, there is PR, advertising, trade shows. There is so many uh, aspects in, in this marketing business world. And because of that, actually, people are more influenced by what they see on, let's say, TV, social media, or, read, or what they hear from people. They are more influenced by that more than they, more than they actually think about it. So the more we actually create awareness of our products, the more they actually, the, the more we actually condition their brain really thinking that our toys are actually better and also the best in the market. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.